Coach Al Simpson, how are you? Yeah. All right. This is Paco Rivera of uh, GAR 1680 North Carolina Boxing Talk Radio and Blog. Okay, how yeah. you doing? Good, thank you for taking my call. Do you have a moment to speak or did I catch you at a bad yeah. time? No, no, I'm good. Good, great. And so how are you doing today? Uh, doing good. Uh, I'd like to ask you some questions about the Golden Gloves event coming up in Charlotte. And if you don't mind, I'd like to uh, record this call for playback on Monday's radio show. Okay. And first, I'd like to thank you for inviting me to the event. I am very much looking forward to it. Uh, good. I definitely hope that y'all can still make it up there. All right. And I guess the first question I'd like to ask you is, um, how is progress going for the Golden Gloves event, and can you say something about that progress? Uh, the progress is going really well. Uh, got a lot of responses back from the uh, teams uh -huh. uh, that will be participating uh, last year. We had about, I would say, 10, 11 teams and uh, quite a few independent boxers. That means they live in... Uh, they actually uh, are on. They they actually train on their own. So we had additional uh, a good number of athletes that have been training on their own that also participated. So the turnout was really well um, as far as participation and um, uh, spectators as well. Uh, we had a good full house on Friday night, and we had a a good full house on Saturday as well. Okay, for what we have coming up uh, on March 8th and 9th, right? Correct. Okay. This for the uh, State Golden Glove Championships. Mm hmm yes. And I see that uh, the competition will be held at the Sugar Creek Recreation Center in Charlotte on the 8th and 9th. I see now that postings about the event also show weigh-ins earlier on those days taking place at the Brookwood Inn Hotel. My question is, are the weigh-ins something that's also open to the public? Um, the public can come and watch. We we never had that before, unless they, you know, were maybe uh, girlfriends or friends of the participants that were uh, boxing in it. But you know, because of it being amateur, it's not really out there like it would be for um, a pro a pro fight or a pro debut. It's a little bit different. Because not that it's not that it's private, but you know, we we just never really had that. That'll be good people to come out and hey we ain't never seen you see a bunch of skinny guys in underwear <laughs> <laughs> okay and so basically there is no requirements for if if anyone was interested uh to to be there they just can just show up correct okay and um regarding competition what are basically the ages of the amateurs fighting on those two days uh this one here will be um Novice. The competition itself is a open and novice competition. That means that any athlete that is 17 years and older, um, even if the even if he or if he or she mm -hmm. is 15 years old, I mean, I'm sorry, 16 years old, okay, they will still be able to participate in this if they are going to be 17 by the time of the national event long as they do have their birthday by that time. So we can have athletes as young as 16, uh, but no older than 34. Oh, really? So yeah. basically the age range will be anywhere between 16 and 34 uh, competing on those two nights? Correct, and it will also be um, men and women. Um, I have um, just to do a show because we we have we have some women in our um in our LBC which is a local boxing uh community mm -hmm. we have women but we don't have a lot of women that we can match up with each other so i've uh, asked for south carolina that has women uh for them to come and participate also as well okay and that was going to be my next question if there were, uh, are going to be female uh boxing competition as well as male Oh, yes, it is. Okay. Um, and uh, are the amateur boxers uh, competing primarily uh, living here in North Carolina? I know you just said that uh, that you may have, because of the situation with not getting enough women 
competing that you may be bringing in some from South Carolina, but are the majority of the uh, amateurs competing on those two nights generally uh, those living here in North Carolina, or do some live in other states? Uh, no, everybody, um, the rest other than the females, will uh, be from North Carolina. Is that um, basically a requirement? Yes, yes, it is because it's a state Golden Gloves, and round about this time, uh, a lot of other states like South Carolina will actually be having their Golden Gloves uh, a week after hours. Um, up in Washington D.C., they will be having uh, their Golden Gloves. So each state will participate in their state event, and then that will move those athletes to the regional events that will follow. So in our competition, uh, since I stated it's a open and novice event, mm -hmm. meaning that open boxers are experienced boxers with five or more uh, competitions. Pretty much like a lot of them will start into the open division when they have about ten uh, good bouts, and then they will participate. You, matter of fact, you have to participate by the tenth competition that you have. The novice boxers, or you can say beginners or novice, uh, those are athletes um, the same age um, that has five bouts, or you could say ten bouts or less, will be able to participate as a novice boxer. That means that uh, their level will only be the state championships. They won't be able to advance to the regionals or move forward they will just be a champion but it's, it's fairly good um, opportunity for the beginners um, to get an idea of, of being in an actual competition making a weight and so forth uh, it gives them that experience so that once they do uh, get their 10th or 11th bout then they would be um, they would have the experience of knowing what happens in a actual golden gloves from there I see. Excellent. Okay, so basically, open uh, competitors sh uh, pretty much already have at least five uh, bouts. Five to ten bouts. Five to ten bouts on their amateur record by by this time, right? Correct. Okay, and about yourself, what what uh, role will uh, you be doing mostly during the events? Will you be refereeing or officiating in any way? Any. In the future, in the in the past, in the event they needed me, I wore all different kind of hats. I'm the I'm the president of North Carolina itself, uh, the head coach here, and then also um, I help with the officiating, the judging. If they do come up short with uh, with um, other officials, I will step in to help out, and um, they usually don't give me any type of judging or officiating if I have one of the athletes in the ring. Uh, but if it does come to that, though, you know, I'm still, you know, I uh, have no problem with that. I'm still judging fairly. Uh, that will still happen as well. And so basically you will also have some of the, the guys that you train over at the Charlotte Boxing Academy will also be competing, of course. Uh, yes, I have, um, I would say about a good eight eight to ten uh, athletes that will be uh, coming to the weigh-ins. And um, the way the weigh-in process happens is uh, once the athletes come and they weigh in their prospective weight class, uh, we match them up accordingly. We had to open um, the open division, and then we had a novice division. So the an athlete can actually average around two two competitions, one for that Friday night, the second one for the Saturday night, and that would happen if there was four in a weight class. We would have to establish who would go to the finals. If there's three in a weight class, then it would uh, a boxer would still have an opportunity of boxing that Friday night and that Saturday night as well. If he wins that Friday, he would then go on to continue boxing on that Saturday. I see. Okay, now if we can go back a little, so mm -hmm. uh, so that aspiring young kids 
uh, wanting to fight in the Golden Gloves someday uh, in the future know what it takes, what uh, would they have to go, what would they have to do to get there and what's the application process like? Uh, the application process is very simple. Uh -huh. um, you 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 have to commit yourself and to be in, into that particular sport, just like committing yourself into basketball or or baseball or whichever. You have a lot of kids that go out in the backyard exactly. and pitch and pitch and pitch, and some will have shoot the ball every day. So boxing goes along the same lines as of being a dedicated, a hard trainer, and um, and really a desire to really want to be in this because. The thing about the Golden Gloves that makes it unique is you have different eras that it was actually in. When you look at the first era with Rocky Marciano and mm -hmm. all of them guys back at that time, mm -hmm. uh, that was a big era for it. Then you went into the next era when you had Muhammad Ali, Sugar Ray, um, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Harms, some of them athletes that also participated in the Golden Gloves. Right. So that was another era. Now you're, and then we just left the era with Roy Jones, Oscar De La Hoya, we, uh, um, Mayweather, and so forth. Those guys. So now we're going into a, a into a brand new era. So these um, mm -hmm. athletes that will be at this competition will be now stepping into this this league. I see, and then maybe someday also. Uh take it up a step to possibly Olympics, just like some of these uh, former big fighters you just mentioned. Correct. Right. And um, about the physicals, there's a posting also that mentions the physicals and it gives the dates and times. What exactly is that process like? What is ex What exactly the, is checked? Well, actually, what's checked doing that, the doctor will examine the athlete. Um, uh, it's, it's not a large physical we always um have the athletes when they first sign up for usa boxing that they go and get a full af uh, a full physical first um so that they kind of have an idea of where they are but each event that is, is that happens uh they have to take a physical it's a post physical and a pre-physical which is more or less checking their heart rate blood pressure Things that make it a doctor. The doctor will speak to them, reference to um, how they've been doing in training. Right. Uh, have you suffered any concussions or anything during training or during your last event? Uh, so it's, it's, it's kind of a mini, uh, mini physical that they will receive. And then once they come out of the boxing ring, they will receive another one just to make sure nothing was sustained while they were in the bout. Absolutely, uh, safety and health is always of the uh, number That's our prime, primary right. concern with boxing. Number one concern, of course. Um, right. And I know you mentioned something about the turnout uh, as far as um, boxers uh, competing that night and fans. Um, do you have an idea, I guess, uh, about what kind of turnout the event will have, uh, about how many fans can we expect to, to see there? Um, well, the facility has a, a, a max capacity uh, in the facility, but before, we've been averaging between 250 and 300 um, spectators that's come in to actually uh, watch the event. Um, uh, the last few years, I've been very impressed with that, um, with the community getting involved with that, because uh, most of the time, once we have halftime or we take a break, uh, a good number of everybody will then leave. Uh, but for some reason, it seems like we pick up even more uh, doing intermission. I guess that's when you get the late crowd to come in. Uh, so we've been very fortunate of having a, a good number of spectators. And uh, as far as the athletes are concerned, um, I would say an average of uh, about a uh, 100 a hundred and hundred twenty five athletes at the most right, which brings me kind of to my next question. I'm not sure if uh uh if you mentioned that about how many number uh bouts uh do we can we expect to see on Friday and then again on saturday 
Uh, on Friday, um, hopefully with the, the number of athletes that are saying that they will be here, uh, hope to average 10 or more. Um, and then the same thing on Friday, it should be, we should average about 12 or more um, uh, bouts. Okay. And, uh, of course, in amateurs, that's, uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's three rounds. It's what is it? Three minute rounds and one minute rest in between rounds. Uh, yes, it's um, for the novice. The novice boxers, it is three two minute rounds. So they go three three rounds for two minutes. The beginners, the novice boxers, the open boxers will go three three minute rounds. Great. Yeah. It's good. If, if we case. should, if it's we should have any females that are that are open class. The female boxers are four two-minute rounds. They go four rounds, two minutes. Uh, the experienced females, if they are also novices, they would fit in. They would still fit in the same category as the novice time frame. Great, great. Because I think it's it's good to clear that up because a lot of people may not be very familiar with uh, rules in uh, uh, amateur boxing. Uh, well, uh, I have one more question. Do you know if there's going to be concessions serving food and drinks at the event? Any other kind of entertainment? Anything else going on there? Uh, well, I know we will have a concession. Uh, we've all, all, always been fortunate of having the North Charlotte Rotary Club uh, that's come in and sponsored our events and stuff. Uh, the proceeds and everything that's collected through the night goes back to the Charlotte Boxing Academy, one portion of it is the athletes that win on that Saturday, uh, the finals, uh, we sponsor them of going to, we take them to the next level, which is the regional championships that will be held in Knoxville, Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So we take care of their lodging, their meals, transportation, uh, which transportation is basically with a, a van that we have and so forth. So we provide all of that uh, for the winners of the competition. The other one, other proceeds, uh, stays with the academy with our youth, uh, our youth group, where when we have different boxing events, we're able to take the kids to different boxing events that they also participate in as well. Excellent. Okay. And how about any kind of like entertainment? Will there be music going in between uh, bouts, a, a DJ? Uh, we... Yeah, we, 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 we try to put something on and stuff. Every once in a while I will try to have maybe the martial arts or some type of group that can do something short uh, short and sweet. Um, I like to not try to have too long of um, intermission right. uh, for the simple fact, especially on a Friday because, you know, I know a lot of we start at 7 o'clock on Fridays because getting people time enough to get, you know, get from work to home and maybe come to the event and everything. And um, so we, we look at that and stuff. So uh, our intermission on that day will be short and sweet. Uh, and pretty much about that Friday, the Saturday will pretty much be about the same. We might be a little five minutes, a little longer than what we would on Friday. Okay, and a DJ playing music, keep the people pumped up and all that? Uh, yeah, we're going to have something out there. Each year, we uh, one of my coaches has these oldies with goodies he always yeah, throws good. in there. Yeah, so that that always rocks the crowd, too. Yeah, great. That sounds great. Well, Coach, it has been great talking to you again. Uh, thank you so much. As I said, I look forward to being there and seeing you again uh, when, okay. I, when I get there. Thank you. I uh, just ask for me when you get there and stuff. Cause like I said, y'all be be my guest when you come in. Actually, I thank you very much. Actually, I may very well show up at the weigh-ins just to see what's going on before oh. the event. Oh yeah, that'd be good. We're okay. at the Brookwood Hotel on Sugar Creek, right right across the street from that McDonald's. Okay, and will you be there for that? Yeah, yeah, I'll be I'll be once again floating with many hats because right. I will make sure that's set up and running smooth, and then I'm a run over to the gym and um, get the ring set up. I have uh, We always rent the ring out, so uh, we have a ring set up, so I'll be kind of back and forth in between. Excellent. I will ask for you when I'm in the neighborhood. Okay, then. Thank you, sir, and you, uh, uh, you have a good day. Okay, you too.